Hey guys, jumping right in. Today we are working on Miss Becca. Um, we are removing this design. Um, and this, this design was super cute, but I did, I think I stretched it just a little too much. So kind of like the tips of the nails, um, where the design was, was kind of, you know, showing through and stuff. But, um, anyway, and two days before she came in to get this fill, she was at Trampoline World or whatever, and she hit her finger really, really, really hard, her pointer finger. So we go ahead and remove that one and redo it. So this is essentially a rebalance and then a repair. Um, so as usual, I have my like 3X course 5-in-1. It is um, probably anywhere from like 20 to 25 um thousand rpms right now and i got my dust collector and i am just taking off the design the bulk um and if there's any lifting or like this this nail right so i'm thinning this out you guys can see where the lifting is um it's that whole basically top part of the nail she hit it really really hard um i told her to clip it down so that way she didn't keep bumping it but she didn't do it so Anyway, so we're going to go ahead and thin that out. Um, I didn't, like, I thinned it out some and then kind of focused on the part that was attached. Um, and then I put, like, a, a little clippy thing on it with acetone and a cotton ball. So, while that nail is soaking, we're just going to go ahead and do the other nails. Um, like I said, this is a rebalance, so we are going to thin the nail out so we can move the structure back where it needs to go um, we're cutting her nails down as well um, getting them back to the same length that they were and like right here if there's any lifting I'm going to go ahead and get all of that lifting off so that way we can go ahead and lay acrylic without trapping lifting which can trap moisture which can, which can cause greenies we don't want all that so um anyway um yeah i got so this video was done before halloween um but it's still like a fall set so that's why i did it in this order um well the one that i just took off and then today this set is it's in november so like beginning of november but um becca likes dark nails anyway like in general um so we stuck with a dark design today um this is one she's been asking about for a while and i didn't think i had the stuff for it but i did so we were <laughs> finally able to do it today okay and so i'm trimming down her extra nail and off to the left by my thumb you can see like a uh kind of where her nail kind of ripped a little and so i cut it down as much as i can um i scrape off what i can and then i go and just kind of buff off the rest of what's left and then right here i'm filing the side walls um to get kind of like that lifted nail off of the side so prepping this nail um, then we're just going to put a tip and we're going to keep moving forward. So anyway, guys, I think I'm ready to start doing some winter sets. So I have this video to upload and then I have one more. Um, the other video I have, it's not, it's not necessarily, uh, any type of theme set. It was just a cute set. Um, and then I have some madam glam a madam glam video i want to do and then you know some winter videos and stuff and um and then after thanksgiving i'll probably start with christmassy wintry um nails so to say so anyway definitely got some videos coming up still i love my nails in this video you guys i love my curved nails um i love them I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love them. I like them more of like a tapered square. Um, and so I had to taper them in. Um, but you'll see that in the next video. But I freaking love these nails. 
Um, anyway, you guys, so I want to thank all of my supporters, my subscribers, everybody that watches, even if you're a hater. Thank you. Um, anyone that likes and comments on my videos, I absolutely appreciate it. And I love interacting with you guys. Um, I love just, you know, doing nails in general, but being able to share it with you guys and learn along with you guys and teach you guys what I've learned. Um, and just, you know, have community in a, um, so just, I just love it. it. Nails turned into a really good hobby of mine. And then now, um, that I do it on YouTube, it's just added to that hobby. Um, so it's just been really nice. So anyway, um, if you haven't subscribed, please do like this video, turn on your notifications. So you know when I post next and yeah. Okay, so we're just gluing on the tip, and then we'll cut it, and, um, you know what I'm saying? Get that shaped and trimmed to the rest of the nails. Um, her pointer fingers and her thumbs, you can kind of see, they grow down. Um, they curve, grow down. So, usually those, her, her pointer finger is the one that has more of the lifting on this hand. This is her main finger. It's just the the one that gets the most, uh, the brunt of everything, really. Um, and she's my problem lifter. But in this, shit, was it this set? Mm, yes, in this, um, this nail set right here, I did switch the order of my primers. Um, I was going to wait till a new set, but because we had the, we had like the whole nail or whatever right there, I decided to, um, just try it on this set. Cause we have a whole, like a, you know, basically starting over with a nail and then, um, did it on the fill. So anyway, we'll do that a couple of times on switching the order of the primers. So this time I I do the acid primer first and then protein bond. So we'll do that a few times and um, on a few sets and stuff and see how that goes. Um, see if it works better or the same or whatnot. Um, so yeah. Oh, guys, holy crap. I'm so ready for Thanksgiving. I love cooking, you guys. Um, cooking is also another... Um, not passion, but I, I definitely enjoy cooking over the last couple years. I've, um, definitely got more creative with my cooking and I love how food brings people together. Um, so I'm excited for Thanksgiving. Um, every year I go and house sit my mom's house and her dogs. And so we end up doing Thanksgiving over there. Um, she has a double stove and so that really comes in handy and she has a lot bigger of a kitchen and stuff. So, and then, uh, Danny and Myra will be over there and hopefully my dad will show up. Um, he has the last couple years, but it's always up in the air and I, um, I'll believe it when I see it. I say every year. So anywho, I'm really excited for it. We went and got all our food the other day. Um, we have a big ass storm coming tonight, um, windstorm, rainy, all that, and I'm surrounded by trees. And so anytime we have big storms like this, I always get all scared and shit, um, cause it's at both ends of my house. And so we're going to be in the living room tonight, all of us, um, and hope for the best. So anyway, um, this is my prep. I'm in reverse and I'm using a ball bit and I have this. I usually do this on like, usually like five to six RPMs, thousand RPMs, a little bit faster. And I push up against the cuticle. Like I don't press into the nail plate. Um, so I'm using my acetone as dehydrator and I really rub it in there, you guys. This is sped up, of course. Um, so I just really get it in there and rub it and get just really dehydrated and get any oils and debris off. Um, so yeah, as you can see here, we are doing this one first. Um, and I always like to be really careful when I'm um, 
putting on this primer because it can burn the skin, not burn, but it can sting. It's an acid-based primer. It can sting um, if you get it on the skin. And since this is, you know, a, a smaller area, um, I usually, after I dip it, I will usually um, kind of dab it right there on the napkin to just kind of get that extra excess out. Um, but when it's it's like a full set, a brand new set, I don't I don't do that as much because there's more room on the nail plate. But anyway, so we are continuing to move on, dude. Are you guys ready for Thanksgiving and the holidays? I I always go back and forth about the holidays. Um, I get really happy and then I, I get really sad. Um, holidays is a time for family and I have part of my family and then there's another part of my family that I don't have in my life. Um, whether they're not here anymore or um, they're being kept from us. So um, it's like a bittersweet time. You know what I'm saying? Um, so... And, you know, we lost our son, so the holidays um, are a struggle, but we make them, we make the best of them, um, because if we're sitting there focusing on what we don't have, we are completely missing the love and the joy and, and the blessings that we do have in the present moment. So I got to remind myself that, and me and Brad just try to stay positive and just you know, we feel our emotions, you know, but we try not to let them consume us and we try to just stay in the present and, um, enjoy what is going on at the moment. So yeah, holidays are, they're bittersweet, I guess. They're, they're, it's a roller coaster of emotions. Okay. Okay. So anyway, um, now I'm just kind of doing the rebalance, just filling it in right there. Um, I'm going to let you guys watch this for a little bit. And then when I'm done with this, obviously I will start filing. Um, I have blathered for like 12 minutes now. Okay, I'm done for a while. Um, yeah, so I'm going to let you guys watch this and play some music and I'll pop back in in a little bit.
All right. Well, I am back. Man, I love filing, you guys. It is so satisfying to see the nail come together. Um, like, when I first started doing nails, I relied on filing, okay? My nails were lumpy, bumpy, thick, weird, just out of control, okay? And I relied on filing, um, and it took forever, and so as I have progressed in my nail journey... I don't have to file as much. I mean, some days, some days my nails are still just, whoa, and out of control. And there's a lot more filing to do. Um, but for the most part, um, my application has gotten a lot better to where there's not as much filing. Um, and so just to see kind of the nails get cleaned up and the shape get crisp and, you know, all that. It's just very satisfying to me. Um... I don't enjoy it as much on myself. Well, filing my dominant hand is hard. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. Filing is definitely one of my my love-hate parts. I love it, but I hate it. Um, but it is a very important part of nails. Okay, guys? You can't just slap on some acrylic, file just a little bit, but not smooth anything out or seal the cuticle. or I mean, you can. I see it all the time, but I'm, I'm, I'm just not even going to go there. Anyway, so we are now sealing the cuticle and just further going over the nail and, um, like sometimes I'll go over the whole nail on this part and sometimes it's just a cuticle um and as you see I am constantly looking at it from all different types of ways directions um stuff like that because like I'll have to do it in my shaping video I've really been thinking about that video it's gonna definitely have to be in series um but I'll break it down that way I'll kind of draw it out and stuff on paper first and then I'll anyway so yeah you always want to look at the nail from all different angles because if you're just looking at it from above, it could look great. And then when you go to look at it from the side or down the barrel of the nail, you're going to be like, holy lopsided or something. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes your shape can look off, like your nails can look wide or um, not even when you're doing like a coffin or a stiletto. And it has nothing to do with, with uh, filing the sidewalls it you look down the barrel and it has to do with the nail um like being lopsided like acrylic being um heavier on one side I guess you could say and so people will just kind of file on the sides trying to get it straight and it never it never turns out right so looking down the barrel of the nail is very very important um and so yeah you see me doing that a lot like that's what I'm doing right here and anyway um yep so we are just sealing the cuticles and then I go in with, um, brain fart, um, 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 um. oh, duh, with my sanding band and that just, um, that just, you know, further smooths it out. Cause like, okay, so this bit smooths out the nail, but it almost like it smooths it out almost too much like you need a roughed up nail from like a file not not a, a bit from a file for or it buffed you know what I'm saying for the gel polish to adhere um, gel polish does not like to adhere to soft slick layers um, so that's why I go in with the sanding band and it'll get just if there is any little divots or lines um, or whatever from the metal bit, this goes in and further smooths that out. So that's why I do that. And then when I'm done here, I clean the hands and get all the debris off and the oils and all of that. And then we start on the design. I did get a new UV lamp and this was my first time using it in this video. Um, it was definitely nice. Um, I'm excited for it. 
I'll kind of show you guys in a different video um, the new lamp. And then um, I did get another table light um, to go above, um, you know, my working area and stuff to hopefully brighten it up some. I still need to kind of do some rearranging to find out how I want them um, and stuff like that. So, but I do feel like it did um, definitely help make it brighter for the videos and just for my working in general. Um, my room was very, very dark in there. Um, yeah, anyway, so that was cool. Um, you guys, these nails turned out so freaking cute, like so cute. So we are going in with Madame Glam Perfect Black. I have a discount code. It is always in my description box. Any discount codes I have or that I know about, I will put in the description box. Um, and I also have a code. It is Rachel35 for 35% 35 off on Madam Glam's website. So, um, this black, you could technically get away with one coat. Um, but because it is so pigmented, um, I like to do really, really thin coats. Um, as you can see, I'm like kind of really splaying my brush out, um, and dragging off any excess um, polish, um, blacks, whites, and possibly reds are, you know, the harder ones to get a full cure because they are so dark and pig pigmented. So with this black, I like to, um, do two really thin layers to get, um, like that even solid coverage. But yeah, so that's why you see me just kind of pressing harder than normal and, um, kind of dragging off the extra and stuff. But Technically, I could go in with, like, a nice one coat, um, but I just want to make sure it's cured all the way. Um, and then I always have a cleanup brush next to me. I hate when, like, you're painting the nail and you don't get close enough and you have the sides and they're not painted. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the top, it looks fine. But when you're looking at it from the side, it's like, oh, damn, I missed that. So I make sure I get that which usually means I get a little bit on the skin and I immediately take it off. Um, you don't want product on the skin and you definitely don't want to cure product on the skin. Um, you want to avoid allergies at all costs. So anywho, I go in with two layers of this. Where's my camera going off? I thought I turned my vibrate off, but I guess I didn't. How rude. Um, anyway, I go in with two coats of black. Um, I guess I do show you both coats. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of chill while we're here. Because the next part that's coming up, um, I want to explain it. So, And then, okay, so for like this second coat, um, the second coat is always faster, I feel like because I don't know why, but it just feels faster to me. <laughs> um, and I'm still like, I'm still wiping off a lot of the extra and I'm making it a thin coat. And so two of the thin coats have a absolute solid coverage. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Do you guys feel like the second coat goes faster or is it just me or what do you guys think? I definitely feel like it does. Um, anyway, you guys, I appreciate all you guys so much. I really, like, I kind of got unmotivated to do nails for a little bit. When there's drama and stuff going on, it's really hard to want to put effort in and, in like want to do this you know what I'm saying and so um I'm glad that a lot of that is just over and past and things are a lot lighter um over here at least okay so I'm going in with my not polish matte this was my first time using it page x nails gifted it to me I don't remember if it was in just a a gift a gift you box or if it was in a giveaway that I won I'm not sure me and her do send um, quite a bit of stuff back and forth to each other, but anyway, it was good. I really liked it. Um, and with Matt, 
you know, there's, there's a good way to apply it. Okay, you guys, so these right here are their chameleon flakes, okay? I've only ever used them in galaxy nails, but they're, it's from the brand Let's Resin. So it's for like resin stuff. But, um, basically like when I would put them on for the galaxy nails, I would just have the flakes like separate, almost kind of like glitter. But if you put it on this way, so I had, I left the sticky layer of the black. So if you have a polish that doesn't have a sticky layer, you need to like do a base coat or something. You need that sticky layer. And then I just dipped this brush in there and I just patted, 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 and it lays out like foil. Um, like when you smooth it out and stuff. And so, and it was really freaking weird too, because, um, these flakes, I mean, they go everywhere. Okay. They, they're not like normal glitter flakes. Like they're, they're different. Um, I didn't even have to put that eyeshadow brush in the flakes. I could put it right above it and they would like suction cup to it or something and so I don't know it was cool it was a trip but yeah you see when I first set it down on the nail they just kind of go poof everywhere so we definitely had glitter everywhere um I wasn't too worried about it being on her skin right here um you know that'll come off and stuff and so when you're doing something like this whether it's chrome or these flakes or you know whatever um I have a designated top coat that I use for pigments and chromes. Uh, one for pigments, pigments and one for chromes. So um, on these nails, I go ahead and use my designated um, chrome pigment for it. And these ones are gonna be glossy. So anyway, guys, we are coming to the end of the video. Um, these nails turned out super cute. I love them. They were very, very simple, but just cute. They, they weren't plain. They're simple, but they were adorable. So, um, yep, here is to another set done. And after I top coat, I go, I don't think I show it on camera, but I go and I um, take some alcohol and I wipe off the little flakes that are on her skin after I cure her top coat. And then we go in for pictures. So... Yeah, I just want to thank everybody for being here, watching, subscribe if you haven't, hit that notification button, like this video, leave a comment, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye!